I V C and multiple, multiple, multiple lymph nodes, pre-cable and post-cable lymph nodes. And here the pancreas is, is free. So I will go up. Yes, here the pancreas is very nice. My Dr. Mahmoud Al-Ansari with Dr. Mohammed Al-Fayoumi. This is the pancreas. Very nice. There is no pancreatic head masses. And this is the CBD. And here this is the venous confluence. Very nicely seen. Yes, this is the portal vein. Yeah, I am now in the duodenum, in the bulb of the duodenum, and this is the pancreas, pancreatic head with lobulations. Okay. And when I keep anticlockwise, I will go to the hilum of the liver. Yes, this is the liver hilum. The liver is below. And here there are multiple also, multiple lymph nodes. This is the region of the porta hepatis, and this is the liver. Now we have free cable post cable, peripancreatic, and porta hepatis lymphadenopathy. This liver is appears as if it is infiltrated. This is the liver, appears that it is infiltrated. There are minute, multiple minute, multiple minute, multiple minute focal lesions. When we see lymph nodes, we always remember three uh, or four causes, lymphoma, metastatic as malignant and TB and sarcoidosis as a specific benign. This is the most common causes of lymphadenopathy. I will keep withdrawing up. Now I am station four in the uh, subcardial and this is the aorta. Yes, very nicely seen. And this is the left crust of the diaphragm. Very nicely seen. And this is the uptake of the celiac and the superior mesenteric. Yes. And this is the pancreatic body. And this is the left kidney and the spleen. Here, this is a lymph node. And this looks as malignant lymph nodes, although small, but looks malignant because it is globular, hypoechoic, yani black, globular with loss of hyperechoic hyaline. The normal hyperechoic hyaline is no, fur no further there lost, so it is mostly a malignant lymph node, although it is not large, there are multiple lymph nodes. Okay, now we will study the mediastinum, and this is retroaortic, yes, there is a lymph node retroaortic, and it's very dangerous, because it is almost always pathological. And this is the vertebral column, and this is an, a lymph node, although small, but malignant looking, and very dangerous. I will I will study the mediastinum to choose the best to choose the best lymph node, large and malignant looking to sample it. This is the spleen. Yes, this is classic lymphoma, classic lymphoma, innumerable, multiple focal splenic focal lesions, highly impressive of lymphoma. Metastases nearly do not produce uh, splenic metastasis. Metastasis is almost always in the liver, but very rare to have a splenic metastasis. If there are splenic focal lesions, then it is mostly, mostly uh, lymphoma and not metastasis. So my first here choice, my first possibility is abdominal lymphoma. We're going to the chest now. This is to start the chest. We start from the IBC. This is the IVC, and here, anticlockwise starts to see the right atrium. In the between the IBC and the right atrium, this is the left atrium, and this is the right atrium. Yes, this is the IVC going to the right atrium, and this is the sticky and valve between the IBC and the right atrium. Here, this is segment nine. There is a small lymph node in segment nine. When I keep withdrawing, this is the left atrium. Yes, this is the left atrium. IVC, well, this is the left ventricle, and this is the valve between the left atrium and left ventricle. This is the mitral valve. And here coming to the subcarinal, 
Yes, this is the subcarinal area. There is a lymph node, but it's not large. It is a small in the subcarinal area. Yes, in between the left atrium and the right pulmonary. Yes, and this is the aorta. Then this is station eight. Then this is station eight. This is station seven, subcarinal. And here, this is the aortopulmonary window. And there is a small lymph node in the aortopulmonary window. This is the aortic arch. And this is the left pulmonary, aortic arch, left pulmonary. This is 4L, 5, and 6. OK. And this is the aortic arch. And this is the left subclavian artery and the 2L. Clockwise, we will find the We will find the carotid and area two. Then I think the mediastinal lymph node is not that so large. So I will go, I choose, I uh, is the abdominal group. I mapped, I mapped all the lymph nodes, and I think I will choose, I will choose the uh, cable and peripancreatic lymph node. So I will go again to the second part of the duodenum. Okay, and start to sample this large lymph node. Yes, this is a large lymph node. So I will try to sample this lymph node. I will apply Doppler. Yes, there is no vessels. So I will go, I will go through this lymph node. FNB, ah, uh, Dr. Mahmoud Al Ansari. This guy. Uh, the the uh, our nurse is Samah. It will hold the echo on the scope. And I'll choose here as Dr. Mahmoud Al Ansari suggested. I'll choose FNB because to diagnose lymphoma, you should have enough tissue to do immunohistochemistry and CD markers to differentiate whether it is B cell lymphoma or T cell lymphoma. Yes, and now I'm inside. Yalla. Had you shield by that? Yalla, Mahmoud, my Dr. Mahmoud. There you are. That's the miss. I will move to and fro. Yes. I'm moving to and fro. Very nice. Yalla, had seen a little syringe. Now I use the slow pull technique, gradual withdrawal. Yes, very good. Gradual withdrawal of the stylet. This is the slow pull or low pressure technique. And now I put the syringe with 20 millimeter mercury. So I am now using the high pressure technique. So I use both. I will try to change my position. Yes, by, I can choose it. I can change it. Sorry, I thought change my position. I can change it by the lever to release the lever to change the track of the needle to take from the whole volume of the lymph node, or I can do it by up and down technique, or even by by my body. I I I, I changed my body to the left side. I am took from all from the periphery and the center. Now I am from the periphery. Yes. Yes, yes, very nice. And this is also, this is also suspicious. This is also suspicious, but smaller. I think this is, will be very nice. Yes. One rapid ala ED. Okay, I am now inside. ED back. You should, you see the rapid, uh, you see the door knocking technique, door knocking technique, one shot. Why? Because lymph node from the stomach is very difficult. Why? Because it is loose. But very nice. I am now in the most lower aspect of the node. And the middle aspect. Now I am moving with the lever. This is the fanning technique. So we did all our work. We did FNB instead of NA. We did two passes from two lymph nodes, not only one pass. 
we do fan in technique now and we are used low pressure and the high pressure suction in the same lymph node so we use all our weapons 